Beyond the very straightforward work in the past few videos, I figured it'd be a really good opportunity to take the chance now to stop working on the front and actually address my work in the back. I'm gonna be explaining what I'm doing as I'm going. I have to destroy majority of the work at the back just to actually change the entire shape of the chassis. I really need to get the OEM quarters off. The whole reason I did this was to be able to make little repair kits for myself when I want to go back to OEM so I have something to build off of. I'm gonna open up the door, drop the side skirt, and open up the hatch to actually isolate that quarter that I'm going to be glassing, and then cleaning it off completely. In my mold making process, I like to use both PVA and honey wax. I like to start with PVA. I put on like a pretty decent coat. It'll dry in about maybe 20, 30 minutes. I follow up with some honey wax. I put that on, I let it dry, and then I buff it out. And I'll do that maybe two to three times. Now using both really gives you a good barrier between your core OEM part, which is my quarter in this case, and whatever you're laying over top, which would be fiberglass as well in my case. Now a lot of people will use gel coat as well in molds, but I'm not going for perfect molds here. I can go back to OEM with pretty much minuscule amount of time and minuscule amount of materials too. A few self tappers and a little bit of fiberglass. The whole point of this process was to make my molds so that I can keep recreating them off of my molds and not off the vehicle anymore. So the next step would be to remove all of the prior foam and a little bit of Bondo that I have underneath, get rid of it, grind it all back down to metal and start cutting up my chassis exactly how I envision. This process is then repeated on both sides. 